It's back to the basics today. Wardrobe basics, that is. And we're talking about white denim since summer is just around the corner. Stick around and find out different ways to style white denim this year. It's all coming up next at Style at a Certain Age. Hi ladies, it's Beth. Thanks so much for stopping by today and a very warm welcome if this is your first time visiting. Hit the subscription box down below so you don't miss any videos coming your way and the notification bell. This channel is dedicated to aging with grace, strength, and beauty. So like, share, and comment so the algorithm on YouTube will be happy and other women just like you who want to stay modern, fresh, and relevant will discover this content. But let's get into that video. Today's video is all about wardrobe basics and actually one particular wardrobe basic and that is the mighty white denim and that is a very hard working item in your closet because we all want our wardrobes to work for us and it doesn't make any sense to have something hanging in your closet except for a ball gown that you just need for a special occasion. We really want our items to be working day in and day out for us. So. I, I actually wear white denim year-round, 365 days a year. The old rules are gone of wearing white denim in between, or, or even white in between Memorial Day and Labor Day. So feel free to wear white denim in the wintertime. They look fantastic with a pair of boots, whether they're brown or black, a sweater, a, you know, a puffer coat. They really just look amazing. But for today's video, we really are looking at summer denim. And I picked a few out for you uh, to go over. I know many of us struggle with finding the perfect pair of white denim because if it's too, if the, if the fabric is too thin, then it's not only going to show our panty lines, but it's going to show every lump and bump. But then again, if the fabric is too thick, it's just too hot to wear when the temps start to rise. So it really is like Goldilocks. We really have to be looking for that, to, you know, the perfect pair. And you may have to try on quite a few, but I'm going to help you through with what I have uh, come up with. And they're different price points. Some are very, very high frame denim and some are uh, very reasonably priced. So let's get into it and I'll share my tips with white denim. So first off with denim, and I don't know if you have heard that skinny jeans are dead. Ding dong, <laughs> you know, skinny jeans are gone. And that may have some of you all a flutter because you absolutely love your skinny jeans. Well, take heart, even the 30 year olds are saying they are keeping their skinny jeans in their wardrobe. So feel free, I love my skinny jeans. I still wear them. I don't really wear them as much in the summertime because they're very, you know, they're very close fit and they just make me a little bit too hot here in my Georgia temps. But uh, I will go through the different um, silhouettes that are trending this year. And the first one up is, and this is from Talbot's and I just recently purchased this. So when I actually listened to the reviews online, which said to size up, and I wish I had, and I wish I had just stuck with my size eight because I actually sized up to a 10 and they're just a little bit big. I think I could uh, get away with them and maybe even, you know, try to shrink them a little bit. But um, my personal opinion, if you like the cropped flare jeans from Talbot's is stick to your regular size or order two and see which one you like better. I just wish that I had gone with my regular size. So cropped flare is very big. We've been see, seeing the silhouette for the past couple of years. I really love them. They look very elevated in, in, in my eye, but you have to get the shoe right with the crop flare denim. And what I'm showing with this crop flare is a slingback shoe. So it is a flat shoe. You can get away, away with wearing flats with crop flares, but I do like to see them with a little bit of heel too. Block heels are so comfortable and they really look fantastic with the crop flare. What I like about this particular pair is they really have that looser fit that is trending this year. So it really is, it's not too tight and it's not too loose, so they're not baggy. And they really just kind of hug your frame rather than you know really sticking to it. So, so I do like that. Again, they're the crop flares. So a few inches above your ankle. 
I know many petites out there actually like to get crop flares because they'll buy it in a regular size and then it comes down and it fits uh, like a regular jean. So if that's what you would like to do, feel free to do that. But, uh, but one of the new silhouettes this year is the cropped flare jean. The next uh, denim that I have, so this is Ralph Lauren and y'all know I love Ralph Lauren. Love me some Ralph Lauren any day of the week and I really do like their jeans. So this is, a, they call it a straight leg jean. So it really just fits, it fits through the hip very nicely and then it just falls on your legs straight all the way down to your ankle. So this particular pair has, has stretch, has some give, and you really do want that in your jean. You just don't want it to be too stretchy because if it stretches out too much, and you'll notice that right away, if it stretches out within an hour that you're wearing it and, it, and it's not stretching back, you really don't want those jeans because it just, uh, it's just gonna look bagged out all the time. So this, uh, this pair from Ralph Lauren does have a really nice stretch, uh, as I mentioned, and it really is, it's just the traditional five pocket look. So you have the coin pocket in front, two pockets in, in front, and then the, and the uh, pockets in the back. So one tip that I recommend when women are shopping for white denim, and one of the struggles that we have finding that perfect pair is sometimes they just fit a little bit too tight. And white denim, lighter rinse denims visually add pounds. And that's why some of us actually steer away from it. So my recommendation is to size up see how that looks on you and then go from there because that may be the trick for you is just one size up forget about sizes it doesn't make any you know it really doesn't matter into or factor into our lives at all it really is just a number so don't get your head you know wrapped around that i have to be a size six or i have to be a size eight go with the fit because if the fit looks good you're gonna look good so i really I'm a big fan of these Ralph Lauren straight leg jeans. Again, just because it has a little bit of a stretch, it really gives a very nice silhouette. And you can honestly throw anything and everything at this pair of jeans just because uh, of the silhouette. So keep that in mind. Uh, a little bit more pricey than than some of the, the jeans that um, that I that I typically get. J. Crew, Talbots, Ann Taylor, Wit and Wisdom is another one that I like. But uh, take a look at those Ralph Lauren's. I think you'll like them. So the next one that I have, this is actually is a, is a, a high-end denim, but it's high-end for a reason. And I will tell you, once you slip on a pair of frame denim, you are going to be so spoiled because the fabric, there again, it's absolutely perfect. It's not too light to show every lump and bump, but it's not too heavy. It has the perfect amount of stretch, so it never bags out. So uh, there again, this is just the straight leg fit, very similar to the Ralph Lauren, but it's, a, it's probably a slimmer fit than the Ralph Lauren. So, but there again, fit it through the hips and then it just falls straight down to your ankles. And uh, again, it's just a five pocket. So you have the coin pocket in front, you know, two pockets in back and, and you are really, you can just wear this with just so many things. And because it's a little bit of a slimmer fit than say the Ralph Lauren straight legs. You can put on a flowy top over that because you do have to be careful. And I have many videos that talk about proportions. So if you want a flowier top, you really want a slimmer cut denim. And that's where our skinny jeans really work for us. But, but these frame denim would, would actually look perfect with a flowy top or a tee. I mean, you really, you can throw anything at this uh, denim and it's gonna be fine. The next denim that I have, so there again, the silhouette is cropped. This is a wide leg crop, and I know many of you are really resisting the wide leg pant trend that is so popular this year, but I say just give it a try. And denim is a very safe way to try trends because you're really not out a lot of money. And you can just try it on for a size, see if you like it. So crop denim is just an easy way to do that. So it's different than the, than the original cropped that I brought first up. So these cropped are, again, very, very straight. It just has a little bit of a flare. So these are the wide leg crops. So it's going to hit you in the same leg, you know, part of your leg, but it just has that wide look all the way from your hips all the way down. 
And what I say about this is you just have to be really particular about the shoes that you are pairing because that's really going to make or break your outfit. I mean, it always does, but especially when you have an interesting silhouette like a wide leg crop. So I really love wedges and wedges are a great summer shoe because you can just find a lot of wedges with um, the just slip on wedges or whether they're a, a sandal wedge. There's a lot of choices and there's a lot of different textures. So I really like the crop wide leg pants with a wedge. So that's my recommendation, but it's just a fun, easy, as I said, it's, it's a trend. It's very popular this year. Safe way to try it is with denim. So, and my last pair of denim, and you've seen me wear these many times if you follow the blog. So I love these. Again, they're a straight leg. This is from J. Crew. I got these last summer and I've just worn them nonstop. So what I like about it, it has the button front. And there again, you know, since it is a straight leg, you can wear it with anything. The only thing that some of you may have a problem with is, you know, is the uh, button front placket. I think it's really cool. I grew up with jeans just like this, so it just reminds me of my teenage years. It does add a little bit more of embellishment, so you may want to tone down your tee or your, your uh, top, whatever you're wearing with it, if you think that that's just a little bit too much. I uh, honestly, it doesn't bother me. So I'll go ahead and, you know, bring in the blazer with the, you know, with brass buttons and, you know, so I have, you know, buttons on top and buttons on the bottom. But if that is a problem with you, just keep it very, very simple on top. But again, this is a type of jean that just works hard. I can wear it year round. There again, just a, a perfect weight as far as the denim is concerned. So I also don't want you to forget there are other things besides white denim. And uh, I'm wearing a, a white denim skirt. So white denim skirts, whether it's a pencil skirt or the one that I'm wearing today that has embellished buttons on the front, definitely get a white denim skirt because I promise you, you will love wearing it. It's just a nice alternative from a regular denim skirt. But so denim skirt and then a jean jacket, a white denim jean jacket. Again, since it's a neutral, goes with everything. And when you there's a little bit of a chill in the air, perfect to bring along and like traveling is opening back up great to take on the plane if you if you happen to be boarding a plane this summer or those chilly restaurants so don't forget to have a white jean jacket in your repertoire and a pair of shorts so and i got these last year and, and they're very um similar to the white denim they have the, the button placket on front what's different is the shorts they just have that raw hem and i just love to just throw these on just be you know just be a little bum with my uh, white denim shorts. Wardrobe basics are those items that really help us transition the seasons with ease. And white denim is definitely a wardrobe basic that is a hard working workhorse. I hope you found a little bit of inspiration. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Of course, leave a comment down below and I'll see you again next time. Bye-bye.